Six years longer in the history books than the famous Tour of Flanders. This is Skeldepres, the oldest classic in Flanders, but now with a start from over the border in the Netherlands. Interneuze at a quarter to one. It was very windy indeed, just 10 degrees Celsius, 20 kilometers per hour the wind, but blowing right across the course from start almost to the finish. And we've just seen a crash on the right-hand side. Again, a bit of a headwind section at the moment. A couple of riders from De Koenig, quick step involved. One of them, Elio Kessa. Number 13 there, Frederick Frieson as well. In fact, two jerseys down for De Koenig, quick step. And also caught up Fabio Jakobsen. Jakobsen wants the car. Remember, he went down not so long ago. Are we talking bike change here? Yes. Very quick bike change if possible. Mechanic quickly out the car. Tom Stales alongside him. There are two laps remaining. And two riders out the front with one minute and 13 seconds at scale the place. Funny part of the race, this. It's a waiting game. Everybody knows what's coming. Everybody knows the tension is building. And we have an attacker. We have an attacker. Now that could be Edvor Bossenhagen. It looks like his style from up here. Let's get another good look at it. And if it is Boston Hagen, it's going to force riders to chase because this is a very dangerous man indeed. Oh, we've had a crash. We've had a crash behind. Riders down. Riders down. I can tell you it's Jente Biermans here who's involved. And number 23 there is Marcus Burkhardt. 74. 74 is Roy Curvers, the man we were just talking about. And that is Edvor Boston Hagen. That's Martinelli who's done on the left-hand side as Edvor Barsenhagen is caught and now it's Alvaro Hodge hitting the front. So Alvaro Hodge at the front, which is interesting. 1K to go then, the final kilometre of the 107th scale de Prez. It's the 2019 edition and who is going to succeed Fabio Jakobsen or can the young Dutchman defend his title? Here comes Roberto Ferrari on the left-hand side trying to move up Simone Consonni. He's in the white jersey. There's the final left turn. Here we go. 800 metres to go now and it's De Koenig Quickstep who have to hit the front and have to do this ride. Seneschal trying to do his best. Behind him, Merku also there. And then it is Fabio Jakobsen to have a go on the left-hand side side they move they try and have a go they look around but Jakobsen's nowhere to be seen not happening Mirko is waiting and staying with him in the meantime it's Ferrari who's done they keep their powder dry now Paul Hines go on the front looking for Ackerman Ackerman about to be led off off the front it's Zierling doing his job on the right hand side on the left hand side they look at the Busada having a go as well for Katusha Alpacine and can they do it on the left now you can see Lawless for Sky getting up there Lawless is there as well several sprinters out of position but here comes Jakobsen who hits the front now Jakobsen is there again for the Koenig quick step and Fabio Jakobsen makes it two out of two successful defense of the title from Fabio Jakobsen once more Lawless was up there again at the front at the right time Valskai wasn't far away but it's the Koenig quick step and Fabio Jakobsen who does the job yet again Fabio Jakobsen brings home the baker Two from two for the big Dutchman. Scale the players 2019 ends like this with Fabio Jakobsen on top of the tree. Max Valskaid in second place, Chris Lawless in third, Osterter in fourth, Roy Jans in fifth place, the evergreen Roy Jans, with Chris Buchmans, Marco Haller, Emma's Lippens, Jasper Philipsen and Matteo Moschetti making up a very good top ten. Uh, to be on the on the list in this race is uh, as a sprinter. I think one of the things you want to accomplish in your life, and uh, to be to be two times already on on the list of sprinters, Kito, Cavendish, uh, everybody. I'm just uh, really really happy and uh, and uh, yeah happy. So they can't wait. A big moment on the podium for three young guys, the fastest men of the day in Belgium after they'd struggled in the wind of southern Holland. The Dutchman wins the end of the Antwerp Sprint Classic.